Welcome back. This is part two of removing self-talk. We're gonna get rid of it. Number one, we are our own worst critics. Nobody's looking at you the way that you're looking at yourself. So stop being so damn hard on yourself. Number two is that we have a rinse and repeat of the same thoughts every single day. There was a study out there and they, they looked at the brainwave frequencies of the similar thought patterns that you have and 90% of the thoughts that you have today were the same thoughts that you have from yesterday. And so when it comes to knowing that, you have to change the narrative. So what does changing the narrative mean? Instead of waking up and being so hard on yourself, wake up and tell yourself something great. Instead of thinking that you don't have those things, what you should do is focus on the things that you do have and be grateful for what is right there presently with you. So today I wanna to cover a few more things of negative self-talk that I hear from clients and I wanna help you with solutions, get over them, conquer them, so we can keep you happy, we can keep you motivated, and ultimately, let's get you to your fittest year yet. So before we go on, give the video a like. Again, I wanna see another bicep emoji or any emoji that you like, throw it in the comments section and make sure that you've hit subscribe to our YouTube channel because I'm gonna be posting way more great content in the future, so make sure that you're here for the next one. This is one of the negative self-talks that I hear from anybody that's joining the belly burn for the first time. And they find that the belly burn is just too tough, that they can't handle it. Now, whenever we're faced with a difficult situation or a challenge, it's common to feel overwhelmed or helpless. And that's why you have your coaches there. Your coaches there are there to guide you. So to combat this negative thought, what I want you to do is look at the belly burn and just focus on the basics of what it is. So what are the basics of the belly burn? Number one is, are you tracking your food? Okay, so are you preparing your food in your tracker today for tomorrow? Number two, are you hitting your movement? So steps, are you getting adequate amounts of steps? What step goal has your coach set out for you? Number three, are you attending your workouts? Because the workouts are the base level of you achieving whatever goal it is that you're setting yourself out to. And then number four is water. Are you hitting your water goals? If you can handle these four things in your very first belly burn, then the rest is going to fall into place and you're going to learn to love them versus looking at them as a challenge. Number two, I always fall off. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I'm coming off vacation and in the past I would look at it like, oh my God, I gained a bunch of weight. Now I gotta go put in all this work and it's just gonna take me forever and I don't look the same like when I got there versus when I left. But I'm gonna tell you this, that it's impossible to be on point 100% of the time. I don't know anybody that's 100%. I know some people that are have a military mindset when it comes to working out or you know, being consistent with what they're doing with their steps or water, et cetera, et cetera. But I've also seen that same person walk out of a workout because they had a headache. So would you consider that a, a loss or a failure or would you consider that as, hey, it's part of the process. Sometimes I'm not gonna feel great. I'm gonna try again tomorrow because life is about that 80-20 rule. So if you're on point 80% of the time for a challenge, for a year, for a decade, then you're never going to fall off. You're just recharging to make that big push forward. Here's another one that I get is people aren't happy with the amount of weight that they lost. The first thing I'm gonna tell you is stop. The second thing I'm gonna tell you is stop being so damn hard on yourself. And the third thing that I'm gonna tell you that progress is progress. If you didn't lose any weight, you didn't get any muscle, your visceral fat didn't move, you didn't uh, drop any body fat, but yet you did everything right for 28 days for an entire challenge, then you gotta focus on that. And that's why I like to have the checklist. So did you get your water? Did you do your workouts? Did you give yourself every opportunity to succeed? So at the very least, you're gonna see that progress. And here's the thing about this weight loss and fat loss journey and muscle building journey. The longer you've been doing it, the more consistent that you've been at it, the less the results are going to be, okay? You're not gonna see the big drastic changes in body fat or changes in muscle mass or changes in visceral fat if you've been doing this for a couple years. It's gonna be all about the small 1%. It's gonna be about the small challenges. This is gonna be about living a lifestyle. And sometimes you don't need to be challenging yourself and being so hard on yourself all the time, but at the same time, you wanna to continue to self-improve. So if you didn't lose as much weight as you didn't think you are, what areas of the other parts of the challenge did you accomplish? And let's highlight that. How about this one? 
I'm too old or too young. I'm too fat or I'm too skinny. Now, negative thoughts related to age or the way that you hold yourself is, it's holding you back from pursuing your goals and your dreams in fitness or in life. So to overcome these thoughts, focus on your strengths and what you can, what you can offer to the table. I want you to seek opportunities to learn and grow and don't be afraid to ask your coaches questions when needed because this is an opportunity for you to expand your knowledge base. The more you learn, the more you're going to be able to apply that to your daily life and the more results that you're going to see. And lastly, you hit that plateau. Actually, I haven't heard of this one in a while. This is something that I've heard in the past, but ever since we've implemented the belly burn challenges, we know how to structure the workouts so that your body is going to continue to get results from just the workouts. And now we got that nutrition component. So when you're feeling like you're stuck or that you're stagnant in life or in your fitness goals, it's common to feel hopeless or you can even lose motivation. So to combat this negative thought, I want you to try to identify what's holding you back and what steps can you take to move forward. Let's go back to the basics. Are you doing the basics of the water, the steps, the, the workouts? Are you tracking your foods? If you've got your base level taken care of and you've been on that path consistently for at least four weeks, then let's start to analyze other areas of where we can create opportunities for improvements. Is there a supplement that we can introduce to you? Is there uh, an extra style of workout that we can add? Is there anything different, maybe sleep? Or what about water? Like, can we add more water? So there's other areas that we can focus on. It's not just doing like one thing and getting results. It's about doing multiple things and making those multiple things just part of your standard daily routine. And then we stack on 1% differences all the time. Change is possible but you gotta remember that it's going to take time, it's gonna take consistency, but you definitely have the power to create the life and the body that you really want. So there we have it, I wrapped up the 10 most common negative self-talks that I hear from members. You may or, have not, may or may have not said them to yourself, but either way, now that we know the problem and we have a solution, we can understand that we are our own worst critics, but we are our own best motivators and that we do have the same thoughts every single day. And by knowing that we have these same thoughts every single day is that when we get that thought, we can throw in an opposite thought. So instead of waking up saying that you're tired, maybe you actually just tell yourself that, hey, I'm awake and you do this for 21 days straight and just like, hey, I'm awake, I'm alive, I feel great. You say that to yourself first thing in the morning, right away you're changing those thoughts because even if you just said it, it's something that your brain had to process. And so now you're truly changing the narrative. So guys, give this video a like, let me know that you're committed to removing all negative self-talk, throw a emoji in the comment section, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you tomorrow for the next video.